Hey, how's it going there, folks? Welcome back here to a uh, Tuesday night. It is the Earthmaster here, April 23rd, 2024. It is about um, well, not 9.40. It's going to be 11.40 here Central Time, where I'm at 9.40 back home. Um, latest earthquake activity out here shows some movement into the uh, Taiwan area earlier today. And now uh, we haven't really seen a whole lot of... Uh, movement in terms of what we've seen recently here around Taiwan. Still a few earthquakes out here in the four range. Um, still kind of watching that area pretty closely for some further movement. Uh, over here across the California area, just off the coast of San Diego, got a uh, little bit of swarming going on here. Um, <clears throat> a little uncertain on to which fault system this uh, is striking on, but it is kind of some rare earthquake activity because we normally don't see uh, earthquake movement out here in this region. Again, that is just off of the San Diego area. 2.8, 2.9, and a couple uh, a couple other earthquakes in there as well. Uh, so we'll keep an eye here on the Southern California region. For some movement, uh, the San Andreas Fault fairly quiet, it looks like. Um, up north into the Northern California area, roughly about the same. Really not seeing too much uh, earthquake activity. And around the Mount St. Helens region, a handful of smaller quakes. There on the map, uh, Yellowstone National Park over here, the uh, super volcano in Wyoming. Got about uh, 28 earthquakes here in the last 24 hours. It looks like uh, uh, most of this activity is stirring up early this morning and this afternoon. Uh, nothing big going on, but uh, 27 being reported. The largest magnitude, a 3.1 near the Hebgen Lake Estates. Now that sits just shy of the Yellowstone Caldera. Let's go ahead and check that out real quick here from the um, area. Uh, it's called isthisthingon.org that monitors the uh, earthquake activity there on an overview of the seismograph stations. Pretty decent amount of earthquake activity. Um, now USGS looks like they're showing, let's go back here and see how many uh, see how many they reported here. Just going to make this a quick update because, man, I have had a crazy day. I'll tell you guys about it here in just a little bit. 27 earthquakes here in the last 24 hours. Um, <clears throat> probably a little bit more than that. Uh, either way, that's a, uh, a decent amount of earthquake activity, and it is over here across the uh, western area of the Yellowstone National Park. Here is the Yellowstone Caldera in the black line um, in the background behind the seismograph station. So uh, yeah, I got some interesting activity stirring up out there in Yellowstone right now. Continue to watch that. A whole lot of earthquake activity around the globe here recently. Uh, Texas area and the rest of the uh, states out here fairly quiet. Really not seeing anything major going on. And of course the uh, Iceland uh, activity still continuing up north. We had a handful of earthquakes here in the Atlantic Ocean this morning in the uh, fracture zones that sit out here on the oceanic crest. And it uh, looks like New Zealand down here seeing a little bit of activity. I was checking that out on the um, earthquake 3D globe. Mainly some movement north here of the uh, New Zealand region along the Kermadec Trench. Let's check out the GeoNet servers here real quick. Um, Livestream is still down at home. I'm working on it. Uh, I had a little technical uh, glitch going on there, but I'll take care of that here tomorrow. I just have to have somebody uh, double check something here for me. Uh, so yesterday, uh, this is New Zealand yesterday, uh, a uh, 4.6 coming into the South Island area. Actually, this is a uh, North Island. About 38 kilometers deep here for that uh, 4.6. Looks like some other earthquake activity out here earlier in the month. Uh, let me check out the earthquake drums here and see what we have going on. There's some of that uh, twos and threes out there across the area of North Island. Uh, I'm not really seeing anything major going on out there for now, but uh, we'll continue to watch everything. It's definitely getting uh, some active activity out here recently across the uh, area of the Taiwan region and uh, you know more specifically right now Yellowstone up north and of course Southern California down here offshore. Uh, 
uh, seen some interesting activity. Uh, let's see here. Let's check out space weather here real quick. I know we've seen a, a few inflares here recently. Just uh, I need to get this thing going here real quick. It's been a heck of a night. Let me tell you guys, I got two flat tires while I was out uh, observing the weather out here in Texas today. I kind of pulled off the side of the road uh, during some large hail activity that was taking place with this uh, thunderstorm and uh, my luck I happened to drive right over two uh, boarded nail boarded uh, they're kind of like a, not like two by fours but it almost looks like it came off of a pallet uh, but they had some nails in it and I happened to run them over perfectly and got two flat tires on the right side and uh, that was during a big time hailstorm blowing wind rain and lightning all over the place so that was not fun <clears throat> normally it is uh, at least as far as watching the storms go uh, we do have uh, a few sunspots out here really nothing major this area across the western limb is drifting further out of sight uh, a handful of earthquakes here across the southeastern limb but uh, overall threat I think right now is kind of dwindling down uh, let's see what the uh, flare threat level is still showing 20 percent chance for next flare I think that's uh, a little elevated 75 for M and the C flare at 99 uh, if we look at the last couple days here notice uh, some M flare activity here looks like a couple of those in the last 24 hours uh, so we can we'll continue to watch some of these regions out here as uh, uh, you know they're obviously producing a little bit of activity and most of this flaring that we're seeing right now is off of this far side a sunspot region here which is uh, drifting further and further off on the western limb all right uh, storm prediction center let me pull this up here real quick got uh, today's outlook there was literally only one or two supercells out here and we were on those all day um, pretty dandy of a storm drop some hail no tornadoes uh, tomorrow which is going to be uh, uh, Wednesday doesn't show too much in terms of uh, tornado potential mostly hail and wind threats across the same area of Texas and into Oklahoma basically just going to be a, uh, a marginal risk here I don't know if they're going to throw in a slight risk or not but uh, um, as we head into Thursday and Friday that's when the stuff gets a little bit more serious they're talking about large damaging tornadoes possibly on Thursday uh, into Friday and also Saturday so these are uh, some major severe weather days coming up here and uh, we'll go over that a little bit later as we get closer to those days but uh, you can see it there on the map day four day five day six uh, a couple days of uh, some decent weather out here or decent severe weather I should say all right uh, what else we got here folks I think that's about it um, I just wanted to uh, let everyone know we are safe. Uh, it's a crazy night. I'm a little tired. I was soaking wet from the rain trying to fix the flats, and uh, we had lightning striking all around us. It was crazy. This was after the uh, stream. We ran into a pretty decent um, supercell. It was the same one that we were on, but it strengthened, and uh, it was pretty. It was pretty crazy. So. All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here. Um, look for the live stream to come up tomorrow. I may post a video tonight of uh, of some lightning, very close range lightning uh, here tonight that we dealt with. So look for that as well. Uh, stay safe, and uh, we'll catch you guys back out here sometime in the morning after some much needed sleep.